Hey lightweights, and welcome to my very first video for Life is Strange. Another long-awaited, frequently requested game is finally here. Um, so I had always been planning on playing this next on the channel. Uh, it kind of just worked out perfectly that they had a huge announcement about a third game, I think. I didn't really pay too much attention since I don't really know much about the series, <laughs> but it just happened to fall perfectly that they were like, hey, new content. And I was like, wow, I'm pl planning on playing this anyway. So I'm really excited to finally be playing it. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this game. This is one of those games that people have been requesting since essentially the beginning of the channel. Um, I will play both games because there's Life is Strange 1 and 2, right? I think I will play both. I don't know if I'm going to play them back to back. I'll probably... Well, I'm not sure. I'm not going to say that. Typically, if it's a whole series, I don't necessarily do it all in a row, um, but we'll kind of just play by ear and see how it goes. Uh, there are a couple other games that I am really excited to play as well, so we'll kind of just play by ear. But I'm very excited. I know absolutely nothing about this game other than it's probably going to make me emotional. Um, I'm most positive it's a story-driven game, so I'm really, really excited because people just like, love, 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 love this game, and I have no idea what it's about, so I can't wait to finally be a part of it, to finally know the hype, and to experience it for myself. So, if you're new here, because new game sometimes brings a lot of new people, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post my next video. All right, you guys, here we go! All right, let's get our options. Uh... Oh, maybe not. Well, shit. I hope I can modify the look and version. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. That's a lot of pressure! You guys. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Ooh, yeah, that is not gonna work. Okay, video settings. No. Controller settings, that's what I want. Invert Y. Subtitles on, normal. Okay. Ah, oh, much better. Here we go. Okay. I can tell I'm already gonna like, oh my God, I just spit everywhere. Welcome to the channel, anybody who's new. Watch me spit. Wow, great first impression. <laughs> Anyways, um, I can tell I'm already gonna love the art style. It's really cool. What the hell is that? Blackwell Academy, 1910. So this must be the past, because she's clearly not from 1910. Shit. 
Holy shit is right. Oh my god. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You guys, that is like such a real high school feeling. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. And frankly, I should upgrade to the 21st century. Keep but I like it old school. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one I of haven't you kept up with my journal as much as I should. Isn't that too? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? All right. October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wrote a Halloween costume, the last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party. Or is that backstroke fest? <laughs> you so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks at Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Oh, so was that... Shit, that was page eight. <laughs> I started backwards. All right, July 10th, 2013. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I've never been to one, <laughs> but who cares because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text in the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the word congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. August 18th. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, it's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest, back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking. With coffee shops. <laughs> but she- Seattle, but Seattle! But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Oh, contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. St to study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates. Or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. <laughs> That's always the way. Mom and dad are getting a little too excited I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts. 
That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything. Unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 2nd. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though. I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. Ugh, me too. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun. Along with my general social unease, I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. I don't want this day to end at all. Woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and the brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jaffin's photography class? Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner. Or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're getting there. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests at Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude, <laughs> if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the beaches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more! September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take, to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures, when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. 
This is exactly what I want, why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. Oh, and that was her birthday? September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him, clone him to take my place in class. This Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kinda understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? Oh, so I don't think that was actually her birthday because it says happy 18th birthday there as well. Hmm, okay. So we obviously are Max. My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always been, I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be a part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell, Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise and mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. Say cheese. All right, Jefferson, this is the teacher whose class we're in right now, right? Oh no, Jefferson is the photography teacher. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher, and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kinda aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has the smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in his Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. Sorry guys, I just wanna get my head wrapped around the story before we keep going. I know we're already like almost 20 minutes in, but that's okay. Okay. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in this past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or a movie? Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. And Victoria. This is the bitch girl, right? Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be fucking mean. 18-year-olds <laughs> at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contests. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. <laughs> he keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. All right.
What are these? Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Aww. Hey, Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. All right, Warren is the geeky science kid, right? Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please, make sure you check out Neck Romantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> Don't ignore this message. Easy. Too obvious? All right. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height my of My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I do love my analog camera. I should take a picture to prove I'm, I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. We should not you take a selfie in the middle of class. Of -war beat America. All right, and aim at the camera with R and press A to take a selfie. Air, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which, shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, oh, as this you is Jefferson. all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. <laughs> Those kids look so bored. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, she is a Victoria. bitch. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max is so cute. I can't get over it. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. You seem quiet today. No matter who just is. thinking too much. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from I hear that. Process, I also want everyone Wanna go to grab a cup of tea and bitch about it's life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Kate, what's going on? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Ugh. Dear Kate, we love your porn video, XOXO Blackwell Academy. Can we at least throw it out so it's not on the floor for everyone to see? Hmm. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Do we get to look at our pictures in our journal? Oh yeah, we do. Macro eyes. What's that for? Oh, an optional photo. Okay, so are all of these things that we'll take photos, we can take photos of? 
That looks like Mr. Jefferson. Is he wearing a bow tie? No, he's not. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. <sighs> I know that feeling all too well. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. All right, let's talk Excuse to him. Me. Fuck it. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right, can I turn it in then? You can never escape the lighthouse here. Hmm. I wonder what significant the what significance the lighthouse will have. Oh, and that thing was the vortex. Did that represent the vortex club? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Looks really pretty. All right, what else have we got in here? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I feel like I probably shouldn't touch it if it's Even hers. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Did they though? You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Oh. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. I'm not paying for it. Would you place it so sharp? I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy.
Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Oh my god! The school's a piece of shit! I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> I don't know if you can hear that. Just relax. Huh? Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <gasps> what the fuck is wrong with the kids at this school? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Okay, I was not expecting time travel. <laughs> that was not something I was expecting from this game. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Oh no, okay. you guys. If I'm crazy. I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Buddy. Bueller. Diane Arbus. Am I supposed to go all the way back? Oh yes, my camera doesn't break. I did it. Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine. Life. Anybody? Can I answer the question? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep images. Keep it together, of Max. Spaces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Shit, but do we remember the answer? Seriously, though. Something about portraits being so crispy that they look like you're looking in a mirror? In a moment of desperation. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Honestly, after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I This icon means you learned a useful fact that you may be able to use for your mind. Hold RT, RT to rewind faster, okay. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. That's going to be so cool. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So can Stella we give him our picture now? Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. You oh, I missed that last time. That girl needs your help now. Oh, okay. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the... Elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Press LB to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. Oh, cool your photo for the competition everybody in class is turning in a photo so you see the dilemma i know mr jefferson excuse me mr jefferson can i talk to you for a moment yes excuse you no victoria excuse us <laughs> i love that he puts her in her place one of Bye, bitch. future stars avoid handing in her picture i'm on top of it i think john lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans max you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. We better turn it in. I'm gonna be so pissed if we don't. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yeah, they definitely would. Okay, Max, retrace Oh, I every want her step. sneakers. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. No! Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? 
Come on, put that ever. thing down! Tell me what to do. I'm so I need sick. a hammer to break it open. To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away! Oh god, from oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Retain Hell facts and inventory? For this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. Jesus, he's just walking around with it in his belt. Happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Uh, excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Why is everyone here such a douche canoe? Should we go talk to him now? Principal Wells. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... Just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or well, one of you your top students has a wrong? gun and almost shot somebody. Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's mm. most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then I hit the alarm. Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into Ugh. the other person. I Thank hate where this is going. It to my attention. That's He's not going to do jack shit. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? I don't know, should I? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I don't know what the right decision I'm is here. Just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he oh. does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship <laughs> down the toilet. Fuck you guys. 
<laughs> okay. Because he could rewind and actually tell him the truth. We're going with the truth, because those consequences are better. You look a little scared. But I'm going to skip this. I don't need to hear it a third time. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving. Okay. I'm okay with those consequences versus the other ones. I have no idea what the right decision was, but I feel like lying to him would have been worse in the long run, so we're telling the truth. <laughs> A little squirrel. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up. It definitely could have helped Rachel, Black but Academy has a noble I... heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you home, there's that science lesson, teacher. Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good <laughs> reason. Great. Uh... All of these actions have consequences. I'm scared. All right. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay. I better Lauren get to my likes and us. grab that flash drive. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Eight of twelve. Whew. All right, October seventh. This will be the weirdest journal entry I I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where to start. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of a cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face, and I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse, and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class and wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest while Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and he clearly wants me to succeed. I felt so shitty. I just wanted to get to the bathroom and to be alone and wash my face after that nightmare or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter, flutter, <laughs> flutter in and right when I took a photo of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in freaking out talking to himself. I hid in the corner and this punk girl came in and they started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly I could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind and I found myself right back in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major groundhog deja vu. Somehow I was able to actually rewind time. 
I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save that girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how, either. I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and I couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up, freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom and before Nathan could shoot her, I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory! Until I got grilled by the security chief, David Madsen, who thinks he's Chuck Norris, Blackwell Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. I was so glad when Principal Wells stepped in to shoo David away. Then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. I know he didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student could carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in a previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic apocalyptic dream then ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. All right. Just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he was the one who triggered my crazy rewind power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already a scary fucking prick. I guess I have little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I may be able to reverse anything. Oh, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places, as his family's last name is practically branded in every building here at Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control, like he's doped up or over-medicated. On the other hand, he's an asshole who nobody has called out, and he almost killed slash did kill a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? What do I say about my rewind power? Like I'd say anything, I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. Okay. Whoa, I swear that security guard is the biggest ass here, and that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today, and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. So of course he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to tase somebody. He would make a good photo portrait of authority, though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It would be like living in a barracks. Shudder. Just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I stuttered like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship, I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems a little stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I smelled alcohol in his breath, but that could have been his cologne, right? But I remember my first meeting in his office, he was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was a bit of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Where am I going? Main building, athletics. I don't know where the dorms are. Dormitories. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Ah, uh, I don't know. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. 
but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Rewind! Okay, not Eugene hey, Smith. Evan. Skip. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Um, Steve McCurry. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. <laughs> I know nothing McCurry about photography. In, color. in other words, no portfolio. Well, fuck you then. I'll just keep rewinding. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it. Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. <laughs> That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. <laughs> oh, my I'd God. Honest, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. That's the missing girl, right? Who's this? Clever. <laughs> Vortex Club sucks. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Not really, I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. Nope, he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? <laughs> just wait for justice, you sheeple. Should I? Uh, hello? Mac. What's wrong? Make This is yes, dangerous, you guys. You you know him. Not really. I've seen Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, Do I tell him? Tell me. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously. I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Okay, Blackwell. that might have been the better answer. Oh, this game is stressful. I probably should have looked around more. Shit. Come on, Logan, bring it, bruh. Bring it, bruh. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yeah, nothing's happening about that gun. That's for damn sure. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh, Let's talk to her. Oh, Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. Okay. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> nice talk. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield. The selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> C 
Since you know all I the answers, I just want to get to the dorm I guess you have room. to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Just Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, yeah. Victoria. Step on this I'll bitch. Get your bony ass out of my way. Fuck you. Can I move the sprinkler on her? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? I can do something with the sprinkler. Fucking bitch. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna sprinkle you! Hey, who's this? There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Sweet. Um. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Oh no. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. Oh god, he's going to fall off the ladder. The steps. Is he going to fall off the ladder? Do you do you understand English? Get lost. Okay, that didn't work, I guess. No. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Nice, bro. What to How do I? Okay. Do I do something with the football? Can I talk to you? No. I want to intercept the football and throw it at the paint bucket. No. Okay. Now's the time. Tamper. Okay, let's see if this works. Do I still have to do the sprinkler? guy. Someone's got to help him out. Awesome. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Okay, so yes, I need to do the sprinkler. Okay, hurry! Go! Close, but no cigar. They the have fuck? to be right under the bucket. What the hell? So did I already Are tamper with it? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. I think it would have saved water. that, right? Yeah. Water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh, now we tamper with it? Oh god, I hope Samuel doesn't see me. Okay, let's see if this works. There we go. <laughs> this game is hard. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. 
Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Fuck it. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Yeah. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't even give yeah. a shit. I don't even give a shit. That bitch deserved it. Probably gonna get shot now, but you know, whatever. Taylor is a slave. Hurry, Red rum. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Don't be afraid, be ready. Young guns training. Even under 21, you can still learn how to operate firearms from AK to Zvraduka. Sure. Young guns uses fun safe perfect plastic replicas stop by our bunker for a test demo i'd love to make man people here are merciless Ugh. stomp on um, big foots ew This place is disgusting. They live. Social media has a time and place. Don't let life flash you by. We'll bang for Jesus. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. Everyone gets sad and lonely, and if you need someone to talk to, please call us anytime, day or night. We will listen because we care. Meat is still murder. Join the Blackwell Vegan Club. Veggie potluck at every meeting, every Wednesday, 5 p.m., Students' Lounge. Girls' night out. halloween -y. <laughs> Stream along. Nightmare before Christmas. Bye monthly and bye friendly. Be the change you wish to see in the world, Gandhi. Three point one four pi. But was this poster really trying to tell me? <laughs> oh. Okay, where's my room? Oh, my room. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. <laughs> Probably shouldn't lie down. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Ah! The cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. Are of a. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discern discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews and cannibal holocaust reviews of cannibal holocaust and ultra vixens. Cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. 
I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. <laughs> Drink up. I kill all of my plants, you guys. One Water my plant is going to have consequences. Collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey, girl, I borrowed your drive so I could watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. <laughs> That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. <laughs> that was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Are they her friends from home? <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Ahoy, Captain. <laughs> At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I thought this was something I could take a picture of. Hm. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Julianne, this is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. <clears throat> you are ridiculous. What's going on? Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. You friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? <sighs> Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. <laughs> I didn't even think you knew my name at all. That was a total guess. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. All right, where's Victoria's room? This, I don't like this. Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay, how do I print it? Oh, print email. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Take. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. 
the fuck out of here. I probably had time to look around, but that makes me really fucking nervous. I hate that. Oh, that's stressful. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. <laughs> You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Pregnancy test? Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> that looks like a home pregnancy test. Yeah, I probably shouldn't take that. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I passed out. If you need any money, let me know. Wait, is this test positive? Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Shit, I should not have done that. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Okay, rewind. I could rewind and make it up to her. I just want to know if it was positive or not. Okay, we're just gonna leave. The more I text, the longer I take. Oh, that's behind. Um, my camera brandy, I hope so. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. <laughs> the more I text, the longer I take on my way. Bye. Oh, I had one for my dad too. Oh, mom. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said that this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Oh, man. Um. Okay, everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to any anybody about this. Well, the only person I could, I haven't seen in five years. I could confide in Warren. He's smart and no science, so maybe he could even think of an explanation. Though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the down low with the stuff and focus on my glasses. Warren sent me a text ask asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had a chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, black and white badassery. Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim for about the millionth time. Good stuff on there. 
On a side note, I saw a missing persons poster on campus for Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her Vortex vixens blocked me from getting in, and even took my picture. It was so high school movie, I can't believe she did it. She actually told me to go fuck your selfie, though. It was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I've been given an actual gift from the universe, but it did give me a chance to test it out. Still, I can't believe I took a picture of Victoria coated in paint for revenge. I must be feeling pretty brave. She vowed revenge, so I guess I've officially made my first enemy at Blackwell. More high school drama. Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything, and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew Victoria was playing them, was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. And it was definitely positive. Oof. All right, guys, I have to stop there. Um, I can already tell this game is going to be so much fun, but it's so incredibly stressful. I never know which decision to do. I never know if I'm making the right decision. I feel like typically in games, I can kind of tell if I'm making the right call, but I really, really can't in this game. So I know I missed a lot of things in Victoria's room, but it really stressed me out being in there. I already kind of got her on my bad side, so I didn't want to stick around and have her risk coming in and seeing me snooping through her computer. Um, so if I missed anything good in there, just let me know. Um, I don't know if I can go back in there or not at some point. Um, but I really like the journal. I think it's really cool how you get to learn so much about each of the characters and so much about Max and her insecurities. And this game does a great job so far of really emulating what high school is like. Obviously it takes it to the extreme with certain aspects, but the feeling of being alone, the feeling of everybody talking about you, the feeling of being the loner and not having a group, that feeling is just like all too real. Um, and it's definitely very high school, so I think they did a great job with that. So I'm excited to keep playing. I hope that you're excited for the next video. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope you have an amazing day.